it's really convenient because you can just pop them under the grill to heat them up or pop them in the oven. Okay. Really low fat, a really good alternative to cheese. Oh, right, OK, well, I didn't know that, so I'll try that. OK. Something new, because I've never had it, so that would be something, something different for you to try. my taste buds. Yeah. yeah. Our 100 Calorie Club continues to pack in good old Joe Public. Seeing food in 100 calorie portions is an irresistible draw for the calorie conscious. I found quite shocked by the egg that it's 100 calories because I thought they were a really low calorie food, um, something that you could eat endless amounts of, but clearly not. <laughs> the mayonnaise is really, really bad. It's tiny. It would only last a couple of chips, wouldn't it? It's not, very, not very much at all. Like one hundred, that's a hundred calories and that is ridiculous to say the least. Thinking you know your calorie intake is a dangerous game and it's so easy to get wrong, especially when it comes to the tea time treat. OK, I think it's fair to say that we all like a bit of a tea time snack and uh, on the table we have a range of uh, things that you may be tempted by. Would you know the calories of these five tea time snacks? We want our lucky punter to rank them according to their calorific value. There's an apricot pastry from Cafe Nero, a nutty flapjack from Costa Coffee, a crispy cream chocolate donut, Neil's Yard yogurt coated raisins, and a slice of Marks and Spencer's cappuccino cake. In at number five, as the highest calorie content food, what are you going for? The apricot pastry. OK, interesting. Up on number five, what would you place on our number four level? That would be the donut, I think. Mm. OK. Number three, what are we going for? I'm going to go for the flatjack. OK. <laughs> so, in at number two, we're now going in descending order, so mm -hmm. actually one of the least calorific snacks between the cake and the yoghurt coated <laughs> raisins. I'm going to go for the cake. So, so then we're saying that obviously the least calorific snack are obviously the yoghurt coated raisins. Yes. Can you place them on the number one shelf please? OK, you've got a final opportunity to consult with your audience and move them round if need be. Do you think I should switch those two? I, I think the cappuccinos Definitely higher calories than, although the nutty flapjack's got loads of calories in it. Yeah. Gonna go with the audience vote. <laughs> <laughs> so the nutty flapjack goes down, the cake goes up a level. Rachel, and at the end of the day, the decision is yours. I'm gonna stick with it. So Rachel, you're sticking. Yeah. I can reveal that the lowest calorie food on there. But tragically, Rachel, you put as the highest <laughs> is, in fact, the apricot pastry. A surprising start, as the much maligned pastry kicks off the countdown with 286 calories. OK, so the second lightest, effectively, in calories mm -hmm. is, in fact, the Krispy Kreme <laughs> donuts. Oh. <laughs> At 339 calories, it's surprising that this donut treat isn't the worst one here. Good news for you, though? Yeah, because that's my snack of choice, so... <laughs> so you're going to eat them with abandon? Yeah. <laughs> the snack that you put as the lowest calorie content, the Neil's Yard yoghurt-coated raisins, actually come in right at the middle at number three. It's the sugar in the yoghurt coating that whacks them up to 404. Would anybody naturally go for something like that, thinking, oh, it's reasonably healthy? You're encouraged to eat fruit, aren't you? And yet, maybe it's the sugar. In at number four, mm -hmm. is the flatjack. Even though nuts are good for you, they are incredibly calorific. A nutty flatjack, beware the butter in this nutty nibble at 414 calories. Well, I'm terribly sorry to have to inform you that uh, you put the cake kind of mid-range when, in fact, that is the most calorific food that's on there. And one slice is a shocking 695 calories. Wow. That's yeah, quite unbelievable, because, like, yeah, I had that at two. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> really good to start with. <laughs> that's right. The snack with the highest calorific value is a simple slice of cappuccino cake at an incredible 695 calories. 
That's a really full evening meal. That could be a curry, actually. I thought donuts were the worst food of all time. I mean, I know, I know they're not good still, but I thought they'd be far worse than... And the flapjack and the raisin, yeah. Good crispy cream salads are going to go through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> You've been warned, dieters. It's not just cake, it's seriously calorific cake. This 1,200 calorie a day diet is a weight reduction plan designed to be followed for just two weeks. But along the way, we are also picking up healthier eating habits we can keep for life. And we're all learning how exercise can help us banish the bulge by burning extra calories. After her disappointment at not losing anything at the last weigh-in, Pam's really pounding the pavements. But it's her dog that's feeling the benefit. I'm supposed to lose a dress size and he's losing a collar size. He's the one that's losing the weight, not me. To be quite honest, I'm feeling slightly deflated now. And I'm hoping I'm not going to have this deflated feeling tomorrow. I think I'm hoping it's going to go from deflated to elated. But a good weigh-in can change everything. And after losing eight pounds, Lizzie's daring to dream. The last time I was in this wardrobe, I was really, it was really depressing, actually, because I was so far off fitting into any of these clothes. So now I'm sort of like, oh! Oh, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, it makes me feel like, huh. It makes me feel sort of like this again, and this is, you know, within reach, really. And this diet is shifting more than just weight. It's shifting Lizzie's entire perspective on food. It's been a real education, and it's changed what I think about how much I put in my mouth, how much I put away into this poor body that's going, you know, swelling up from all the fat. It's, ugh. But it's something I'll keep with me, I think, forever. Still to come, has addict Alper put her cheesy past behind her? Plus, the drama of the weigh-in looms and one diva is wavering. I don't want to get on the scales tomorrow. In fact, um, it's going to be very difficult for me, the way I actually feel about it. And I'm making a decision on whether I'm actually going to get on the money. Eight weeks ago, Alba Joshi had a need for cheese. With the help of clinical psychologist Henk Van Bilsen. Oh my goodness me, do I eat that much? And dietitian Ursula Philpot. Would you actually eat it like that now, seeing, seeing what's in it? No. No. She's been gradually reducing her cheese consumption. And she's even learned there's a whole new raft of food she can eat as an alternative. I never thought I'd like it, but I actually do. What's for dinner? But is she finally fromage free? Well, I've still got cheese left over from my cheese eating days. Um, this has actually gone out of date because I haven't touched it. <laughs> and even the other one's running out of date because I'm finding other things to cook now, which I'm really enjoying. In the last month, the reduction has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, in fact, I've, I've not had any cheese whatsoever. It's a brilliant success for Alpa, and she's already starting to notice the difference. I've lost weight as well, just over a half stone. I don't need cheese to make me feel good. I don't need cheese to make me feel that I've eaten something nice today, you know? Um, it's not as heavenly as I thought it was before. And um, I, I think I've got a new life ahead now. <laughs> Cheese-free life. <laughs> Day 11 of my Big Fat Diet Show Drop a Dress Size Two Week Challenge. I'm back at the 100 Club with my dieting divas. Right, girls, it's that wicked weigh-in day again. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Any news? Not good. Yeah. Pamster, because you were a disaster the other day. And I'm a disaster today as well. Pam's not the only one who's worried her calories have caught up with her. No. I think I've put on. I was to get you. I do, I do, honestly, I think I've put on. And Josie has a confession to make. You, your dark chocolate, you nearly had a nervous breakdown the other day when we took it away. Mm. How have you managed? Mm -mm. I haven't. Have you fallen off the wagon? Yeah, I have. The chocolate. I just can't do it. But there's no hiding from the scales. All right, girls. <sighs> I'm going to go first. I genuinely am very nervous about this. I honestly don't think I've lost anything. I've already dropped three pounds, but have I lost any more? Oh, 
Another pound off. That's four in total, and I'm inching ever closer to fitting into my gorgeous gown. I feel really sick. I've got to go now, because I don't think I have. Josie's been pretty consistent so far, with an impressive five pound total loss. <gasps> no. 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 But has her naughty nibbling let her down? See, I've put on two pounds. That two pound gain takes Josie's total weight loss back to just three pounds. So you've got a few days to get that back off again. Yeah. Super slimmer Bev has seen her weight plummet by nine pounds already. Oh, well, 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 well. And another pound takes her to ten pounds in total. I don't think I've lost any. I really don't. Gail's lost six pounds so far, but has she managed to keep up the good work? Oh, I've put on a pound, I'm not in stone oh, yeah. And I've been to the toilet. <laughs> Another diet diva heading in the wrong direction. That one pound gain takes her total loss to five pounds. OK, so you've put on two, you've put on one. So far, Debbie's lost five pounds. Lost two pounds. Well done, Another two pounds, and Debbie's lost an impressive seven pounds in total. Oh, I never I thought that. Oh God, I feel very nervous. After a bad start, Lizzie's lost a total of six pounds. Can she maintain the momentum? Oh, I'm oh, not oh, so A pound in the right direction, and it's a seven pound total loss. With a three-pound loss so far, Pam's been struggling to stay motivated, and at the last weigh-in, she lost nothing. I'm really not confident about this at all. But she's being brave and getting on those scales. I can't even look. I feel, actually, I can't look. I really feel sick. Keep breathing. Oh, yeah. What a boost for Pam. That two-pound loss keeps her heading in the right direction and means she's lost five pounds in total. I've worked so hard. I can't tell. Oh, no, all emotional. <laughs> oh, bless you. I can't tell you how well, hard no. that was to drop that two pounds. I, I can't tell you. But that's me. Oh, see, like, I'm silly, is that? No. That's, it is an emotional oh, thing. It really oh, works hard yeah. to get rid of that. See, that's that's two two oh, oh, oh. Oh. Some of us have gained and some of us have lost, but overall we've achieved a staggering two stone 13 pounds in total weight loss in just 11 days. With our gorgeous gowns looming large in the background, it's the final push. OK, girls, for the sake of three days, we want to get into those frocks really nicely and we're going to have the most amazing photo shoot, so... Is it worth it? Yes. yes. Come on, then. embarking on this or any diet, seek medical advice from your GP first. For more information on the drop a dress size diet, including whether it could be suitable for you, go to channel4.com slash food. Next time on my Big Fat Diet Show, I interview the man who took on the tobacco industry and now believes the food industry poses as great a public health threat. Today, what's the most salient stimuli for millions of people? It's food. We fix the priest who's guzzling up to two litres of cola every day. The moment it touches my tongue, I, I feel my, my taste buds come alive and the liquid dances on my tongue. My diet divas get a good old British favourite from Matt Dawson. You lot make it every single weekend, do you not? Yes! A Sunday roast. Yes! I reckon I can do it for about 4.50. No! And it's time for the final weigh-in. Will we all have dropped that dress size in just two weeks? God, I'm so nervous for the first time ever. For a selection of recipes from the show, plus more about the 100 Club, go to channel4.com slash food. Tonight at 10 past 10, a body shock special follows a teenager with a difference. The girl who cries blood. Next, though, Celebrity Big Brother. Or is it countdown? I'm looking for